Ground of drops, man. This is the absolute titties. Literally just camping out in the middle of nowhere and um, you can make yourself a mad brew. It's full on pour over, tastes ridiculously amazing. Hit them up, links in the description. This is what you end up getting. Full on like air sealed bag. Wanna have a smell inside? I can already smell it. Oh, smell, smell this. Nice. So good, so good. Say hi to Richard, he's a lovely, lovely dude. Hit him up and get yourself some of these bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is where we were. That's our campsite just there, and this is the trail that we. Oh, it's a bit cold. Uh, this is the trail that we used to get there. How sick is it? And the sun's hitting it just right. I feel. Look at this. What a mad little little trek. Whoa, baby! <laughs> Traction! How sick is that? Let's do it. So we got a peanut up there. It's gonna be interesting. That should be fine. Damn, I'm hungry. So I just did a mad uh, pack down. or we'll pack up with all my camp gear and what I have and what I use and how I packed it and everything. If you wanna check that out, once it's out, I will link it. Just up there, wherever. And my ABS turned on. So check that out if you're keen to see how we did everything. That's gonna be, uh, that'll be out in a few weeks. After this video, holy crap! Look at that. So we're getting up, baby. Let's charge it. Oh man, it is a cool morning. Fire out! That was such an incredible campsite. I don't even know what time it is, man. I'm just like so out of the loop. We got up at like six in the morning. We went to bed last night around eight, eight thirty. So it was just one of those things where the sun went down, we went down, we went to bed with it, and the sun came up, we rose with it. It was just incredible, what a mad little experience. Oh, this is sick. Hopefully we find our bottles of water on the way back. Because man, I'm thirsty. <laughs> we had to full-on ration the water, hey, we have none left. Just zero water. We're full on just taking a little little mouthfuls, like one little last mouthful before going to bed. Just had like dry mouth this entire time. So hopefully we find it. Oh crap, is that a spider that just dropped me? Crap, I hope not. Shot. How good is that? Yes! Yes! How sick! How good is that? <laughs> oh, how sick. I guess my bike would, by the way. I'm gonna have a drink. Stop it. Stop it. Yes! Oh, oh man, crazy. Can't believe we lost this. We're having those panic moments last night, just being like, crap, we actually can't make breakfast. We can't do much. We have to ration our water like crazy. And it's not a nice feeling. You just want to have one of these beside your bed when you get to sleep, you know, and not having that, like usually I do all the time. Not having that was a bit scary. Plays with your mind a bit, makes you more thirsty than you really are. But we got it. Just strap it in there, nice and good.
So, final day, baby. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? It is. Day 14. Last night, we just, it was a write-off. <laughs> we just smashed like 10 beers in no time at all. But we're sort of well rested again. Today, we're gonna hit the longest time on the road so far. So nine hours and five minutes. <laughs> of ride time. Of ride time, yeah. It's gonna be huge. What time is it now? What's the time? Uh, it's really nice. Oh, it's 9.05. Nine hours and five minutes. Isn't that weird? That's pretty weird. He's, he's not joking. It's actually 9.05. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so we're just gonna have a solid feed. We're at this mad place in Port Macquarie. Um, juice and we're gonna get a you know, bit of nutrition in this. Hit the road. We're aiming to be home at around like seven or eight o'clock tonight. Oh yeah. So yeah, my girlfriend Romina does not know that I'm coming home today. She thinks I'm coming home tomorrow. So we're keeping even this, the social stories and everything on the DL and, and it's gonna be a bit of an exciting time. A little bit of a surprise. Should be nice. Cold brew, juice, waters. So, yeah. Smashed avocado coming right up. Thank you so much. That was great. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Zhong uh I like it. I like it. And where's this joint? Where are we? Walcher. Walcher? Walcher. Walcher. So that was like, far. we pinned it for like a good two and a half hours, 190 k's. Oh, shies, we're here. <laughs> God. We're back near Tamworth. Oh my gosh. I'm actually so keen to get home now. Done. Cooked, fried. Let's see what they have here for us. Oh, this place. Shut. Yes, it is. This is a vibe. Yes, man. Jeez. Six and a half hours ago, man. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it has to happen. But like, this is cool though. They've got these like all this stuff, all this, all this. It's all like it's all hip. Look at this guy. It's all hip. Motorcycle friendly baby. Uh, so we're gonna pie a couple of drinks and then we're gonna shit off into the sunset. <laughs> but this pie looks fantastic. Tomato sauce or barbecue sauce on a pie? Oh, this is this not the. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get crushed here. I'm gonna get crushed in the comments. Yeah, it's barbecue sauce. Yeah, so is all of Australia. I don't get it. Barbecue sauce on my bacon egg roll. Barbecue sauce. Tomato sauce for my sausage roll and my meat pies. It's hot, see? I'm just waiting, playing the waiting game. I actually started cooking out here while riding. It's like the crazy, 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 crazy uh, heat waves. It's so crazy, it makes me cry. Like a little girl. Yeah, we're losing it, man. 
I'm so tired. Six and a half hours to go. Got this trouble, got this go. Alright, time to dive into these bad boys and then we're gonna hit the road again. Jack. Hit the road. That's why we get along with. I hate that song. Two hours later. All right, so we're gonna make the call. I'm gonna make the call to Romina, tell her that I'm gonna be home tomorrow night. And in fact, we're actually gonna be rocking up at home around eight o'clock tonight-ish. Uh, she has no idea. I'm just gonna call her now to say that we're at Jungog and we're not gonna have reception and um, the light away, basically. Hello, how are you? Good, we got to? Uh, just filling up for the last time before we hit the no reception zone. Ah. Ah. One more sleep though. One more sleep. Did you message my name? Yeah, 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 Ma, yeah, they know. I'll be around tomorrow to pick up the key. Okay, we're gonna get cracking, hey. Okay. We're running out of time uh, again. So sorry, darling. It's alright. Have fun. I will. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. The, my GoPro mic is cocked. It act, like it's just crackling. I'll, you know, you've heard it. Uh, so I'm gonna rock it without the mic. You'll get wind noise, but you'll get some at least, you know, sound without crackles. And um, the Bluetooth gods aren't with us today. Helmets aren't connected for neither of us. It's just the last day, man. The last day, and all this happens. But what do you do? And it's like 50,000 degrees out here again. Again, it's literally been the bane of our existence. It's heat. Holy crap. We gotta go though, we still have what, three and a half hours? Three hours? Four hours? Three and a half. Three and a half hours to go. What's the total? It was on my mind, I have not looked at mine, so what is the total? This is the total right now. There we oh, go. we're gonna hit it! 4,165. We're, we're gonna cross five. We've done 455 today. We're gonna cross five on the putty. Yeah. You better be recording that. Hectic. Yeah, for sure. That's I'll it, I told you we would do five. I know. Crazy, eh? We got cloud, we got cloud, we gotta go. It's so green. Like that car just came down. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Let's get the heck out of here. That's insane, man. That's a huge tree. The boys are back on. We gotta go, man. It's getting dark so quick. We still have bloody like three and a half hours to go. Three hours. That's insane, man. That just happened. Oh, wow. I just. I was just walking back around the truck to have a drink of water and I'm Oh, serious? And I went, well that's <laughs> Wow. I'm glad you guys were taking it a bit easy. I reckon. I couldn't even fucking sing out to you. That's insane. Yeah, we're gonna get to Yeah, we're gonna go. Bye mate. Well, just happened. Now, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna pin it. Holy crap, isn't that insane? Wow. I never see that crap. Shot. That actually really hurt. Did you hit your foot? Oh man. What happened? Did like it, it was just the weirdest thing. It's just like, yeah, it was leaning, but before the peg even hit, that just grabbed the road and it just like threw my leg off the peg and just Look like your brake pedal, bro. oh yeah that's yeah that's been like that for ages and i don't know like i don't know if my foot was just off the peg a little bit yeah. but before it hit the road before the peg hit the road it just grabbed right at the tip of my toe oh. and just ripped my foot off the peg and threw my leg like back oh. but it's like it pulled like it ripped to it twisted my knee bad you're right well yeah i, I could think so like it feels okay, I was just... Mate, that's always a fear of mine. Especially when I'm this and I have the boots sticking out like... Yeah. Oh. 
that if it catches one of those orange pylons, it's not to be one for four when it was the speed. I was down in the corner, but my knee wasn't down where my foot was, and that yellow peg, those yellow dividers, yeah. took the foot and it cooked me up. Oh, hectic. But I didn't hurt my knee. How's your knee going, bro? Yeah, I just I feel like a bit of pain right there. Like a little bit. I'm going to have to see how that... you like put pressure on it? Like it feels fine. Like Try I feel... to stand on that foot. Like it feels fine. You're right. But it's just like the... Like I say, please don't join me in the torn ACL club. I don't want that. <laughs> I know. No torn ACLs, but what we did notice were dark clouds starting to roll in from the horizon, which we were unaware of. We've seen these before. We knew what was coming for us, and they were getting closer and closer, and it was getting darker and darker. And then the big raindrops started to hit. Just thank goodness we weren't stuck on a dirt road this time, but we were still stuck in the middle of nowhere, with no shelter, nowhere to protect ourselves. At this point, I couldn't see anything. I was getting super drenched, super cold. Thankfully, the Akin Alpha 2.0 jacket came in handy for the very last leg of this tour. Completely weather resistant, completely wind resistant. Now was its time to shine. Unbelievable. It was pouring down. Visibility was pretty low at this moment, but I just spotted Nick's bike parked on the side of the road. I did not see that branch laying across the road, so thankfully Nick stopped before I did. Why? Why did you have to ask a river? Huh? There's one day. Ah. Why did you have to ask You were so close. All you had to say was, no, please hold. Are you I can't remember what you said. <laughs> I've positioned myself here. What's the matter? Don't park there. You see that? It's a big black tree. What's the matter? How are you calm? What? <laughs> yeah. Hectic, okay. It's good. I can't, I, I'm still riding that glass and I can't do shit. Yeah, it's pretty hectic. Let's just get the heck out of here. <laughs> Holy crap. But the storm eventually moved along and then this happened. I just cracked 5,000 kilometers. Isn't that insane? What a milestone. Celebratory beeps all around man, on the horn. we weren't done yet. Now at this point we've been riding for a little over seven hours and we we're getting super achy and all we needed to do is just have a quick little break, dry ourselves off, get the warm beverage and then keep powering on. We saw this BP and we we're like yes saving grace. Oh they just turned the light off. What? No way. Are you serious? They literally just turned the light off. <laughs> and we had to just press on, just our luck. Last day, last leg, and we just couldn't take a break, so we kept powering through. But how epic was that sunset, just seeing us off home, that was it. We are on the home run, man. We are legging it, we are pinning it. Smashing through the city, through the tunnels, ah, oh, just get us home. We just had to make one more servo stop, refuel, before we arrived at my place. Ah, oh, filling up for one last time, holy crap. Oh, holy shit. Man, that was hectic. What's up? What is that? What's what? Uh, I don't know, nothing. I think you're sweet. <laughs> what the heck? Did you just hit a gutter, did you? Yeah. Yeah, you just, I think you just gutter bashed or something. Yeah, a bit of a hit, hey? Yeah. I think you're sweet, though. Yeah. 
You want your wheels might be out of alignment, so maybe take it to a mechanic tomorrow. She's like the wires are right there. She's right there. I reckon you'll be sweet. What a way to end this freaking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Rockville. Every single time we go to a survey, there's something. Oh, <laughs> this it feels so bad. Look at this. Wait for my for the reveal. Oh the ink. Wait for the reveal. Oh freezing. Oh, <laughs> oh I hope my Mac's okay. Oh, it's okay, it's a great success. All the oxygen is dry as. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, man. Freezing. Stuff the gloves. Heater grips on. I got 5,124.1 kilometers. Wow. Wow. All right, get this thing off me. Okay. We made it. We are back. We're back home. Can't believe this, man. It actually feels so bizarre. Holy crap. <laughs> Where are you? Who are we? <laughs> And there it is, our 5,000 kilometre journey around New South Wales has come to an end. And what an experience it has been, riding some of the most beautiful roads in Australia, witnessing the harsh desert and the stunning rainforests. New South Wales is such a diverse landscape. This is insane, it just blows my mind. This trip wasn't all smooth sailing, but we overcame, we adapted, and we grew from our obstacles. Did you break your gear lever? I really thought we would have had this, man. I really thought we would have had it. There's one day! Fully got like heat stroke, hey. That's me. That's me. I'm done. Holy crap. Yeah, it looks good, man. Look Nick and I began this adventure as mates, but we are now brothers. Fourteen pairs of undies. The memories that were created on this trip will be cherished for a lifetime. And it's like you have to get through all this. Not again! <laughs> yes. I, Meeting up with friends. Come on, brother. Come on, man. Yeah, the mini friend. victories. <laughs> The support from the brands involved. The real heroes of the trip. Around the backyard, the support 20, 20. From you guys all around the globe. You had our backs the entire trip. And of course, family. <laughs> The experience and the growth from this adventure oh has God. only led me to one question. Where to next? <laughs>